welcome back. We're playing Metroid Dread. We just accumulated all of the collectible items. So we have 15 power bombs, 285 missiles, and a lot of energy tanks. So now we're gonna go to the final boss, which is Raven Beak. But before we can fight Raven Beak, we have to fight the final gold version of the Chozo Warrior. There he is in the background, giving himself a little introduction. Now we have a little cutscene where the golden Chozo Warrior is gonna come here. So what we wanna do is we wanna get his shield away from him. That's gonna make it a lot easier to defeat him. He does a few different moves until he decides to smack his shield. Once he smacks his shield on the ground, then we have to melee attack him and then use our grapple beam to pull it off of him. And now he just becomes uh, kind of a previous version uh, chose a warrior. So now he's just doing his normal attacks and we can just use missiles and finish him off. The phase shift is an excellent use here to just, whenever he does an attack, jump up, phase the other side, and you're good to go. Nice. I like that he just stands right there. <laughs> He's taking missiles from me. To finish the battle, you do have to do a kind of cutscene block. So just be ready for that. There we go. Wait for the white star. And now we're full Metroid, so we can just absorb him. Wow, did we really lose four energy tanks from that? Wow, that is so cool how it just all comes back. So now we're going to go up above the planet. The whole mission of this game was to get to the surface, and now we're going above that to a space station that's kind of in orbit, I think. And this is where Ravenbeak is. Yes. Such a cool loading screen. Looks like it's a thunder lightning storm out there. Yes, so cool. What a cool outfit. Love the purple and pink with the neon green. Great combination. So we we find out now that we've been monitored this whole mission. The whole point we were drawn here by Ravenbeak and the whole point that we've been kind of spared and we weren't killed was so that we could grow into our full Metroid version fully embrace the Metroid DNA inside of us. So then Adam is going to say, did you know I was actually Raven Beak this whole time? I think. Embrace your DNA. Rule together with Raven Beak. We can rule the whole galaxy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to join you, Raven Beak. So far, uh huh. Oh man. Highly satisfactory. As I hope, it has even awakened your Metroid powers. Yeah. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one mm -hmm. you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. So somehow Raven Beak like hijacked Adam. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Yeah, well, we're, we aim to misbehave. <laughs> Maybe that was just an illusion? And it wasn't Adam the whole time? Maybe that was just the last little bit. I don't know. So now we find out that Samus is part... Like, Ravenbeak's DNA is somehow inside of Samus. Oh boy, here we go. All right, we gotta watch out because I think one hit is gonna be massive damage. 
Yep, I was right. Oh, two energy tanks. That's crazy. Okay, so here, this is one way we can get our uh, life back. Just gotta wait for the right moment here. There we go. Hey, we got our life back. That's nice. What are you doing now? Oh, I don't know if that hurt him or not. It definitely wasn't worth it. That's the place where you need to counter physically, and then you can do some missiles. What are you going to do now? Okay. This gives our life back, so we definitely want to destroy that. Versus just letting it get destroyed. Nice. Oh, what? Did that not work? Definitely feel like I countered it. doing there what am I supposed to do to dodge that just go into a ball come on oh nice why is he blue he was purple before oh now he's purple again come on raven beak gotta watch out for that attack come on yes there we go okay I think we may have gotten through the first phase. Yes, excellent. All right, hard mode, first phase complete. Ah, such a cool. Ah, I love, what is so cool about wings? And he even kind of looks a little bit like a bird. Just such a cool character and monster design because Sometimes the coolest monsters are ones that are just look cool. <laughs> like, he has a more intimidating structure than Samus with his wings and his massive, massive gun. Look at that gun. Thing's bigger than he is. What's nice about this is now he doesn't have that shield, so we can just unload missiles on him. We have plenty of missiles. Okay, so for this one, we go around in circles, and then on the way down, we can give him a, a little missile treat. There we go. Oh, we're doing a lot of these. Apparently, he got me once last time, so he's like, I'll just do that same move again. Gotta watch out for that hyper beam, that thing. I don't know how much damage it would cause. I don't want to find out. There's one missile on the side. Nice. Three full loops. That's pretty good. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Second phase done. The cinematics mixed in with the fighting is so cool. Now he's full Sephiroth. Oh, I, this this is so painful to watch. Oh, no. One wing is better than nothing. Oh, what is he doing here? Oh, yeah. That's going to hurt. Ow. Okay. Okay. I was too focused on his Sephiroth thing. Oh, he has a speed boost, too. Okay. This is where I'm probably going to get hurt the most. Is trying to dodge this sun. At the same time as doing the massive beam there go trying to do two things at once oh not working ow 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 okay just take away all my life i guess that's the point of a fight <laughs> nice okay i got a counter there that's gonna give me a little life back but man if i do another bad sun move i am definitely gonna die Okay, definitely worth doing that counter. Hey, is that it? Nice. Oh, sweet. Is there more than two? There was... 
Did you really believe you could defeat me? You overestimate yourself. You no longer serve any purpose. Even your Metroid DNA is no longer necessary. You want to know why? This is like Villain 101. Don't say your plan, just... You just spent the entire game training her to be super powerful, and this is your plan, Holder? It is because I can clone an army of the most powerful Metroid of all, Samus Aran. No one can stand in my way, not even you. You just said she's the most powerful Metroid. Is that really a, a winning strategy? I just made you so strong, and now, yeah, let me hold you at arm's length. Foolish daughter, leave the galaxy to me. Close your eyes and rest. Oh, that's not good. Power is everything. Not good. So that's interesting. She actually has her new suit before she absorbs Raven Beak. I thought she got that new suit from absorbing Raven Beak and the whole power of the space station. No, that's her Metroid DNA just like taking over. Oh, that is so cool. What were you expecting to happen? You just fed her every monster on the whole planet. And every X. Oh, every X and every monster. Yeah, let's hold her really close. No, keep your distance from that person. Samus, maximum distance. Don't hold her. Yeah, so she's full monster now. Oh, there's Raven B. He looks much less intimidating without his helmet. Oh, yeah. Now he's infected by the X. Oh, snap. Oh, it's so creepy. Okay, so now we just need to charge our power here. Oh, yes! So this is all the power of Raven Beak, the Metroid, and Samus, the space station. I think that's all combining to give her the Hyper Beam, or whatever you would call this. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. So the X comes out, and I'm so interested, like, what ability it could be. Don't destroy it, it's so sad. No, you gotta see what ability that is. Ugh. There are a few times in this game when you defeat a boss and like the X that usually gives you an ability just goes to waste. So sad. Okay, so the planet's about to be destroyed, so this is a classic Metroid situation. We gotta run away before the whole thing is destroyed. Let's see, where are we going here? Over here, maybe? Not a great start. Okay, here it is. I think with our new cannon, I don't know even know what you would call that. I wonder, can we see it here? What is it called? Hyper beam. It is the hyper beam. Oh wow, we have a we don't have a lot of our stuff on the left. We just lost it all because now we have just the hyper beam. What's cool is now that we're like full Metroid, we can't even be hurt. So there was the screw attack. But if we let monsters touch us, they just die. <laughs> I love that. And uh, the energy also is just not even on the bar anymore, which is cool too. It's just like, no, irrelevant. Doesn't matter, just let the monsters touch you. It's so cool. Nice. Oh, wow, the, the beam also does that? That's cool. It's cool, it like opens up everything. Wow. I can, can I just hold this indefinitely? Wow, oh, that is so cool. Where are we going here? Okay, going through here. 
I don't think we have our speed booster. Not that we could run far enough to use it. Well, except for right there. Oh, we do have a speed booster. <laughs> as soon as I thought that. Oh, funny. It did work out. So there's a special door here. Now we can just melt. Love it. Okay, we're at about a minute. I'm getting a little bit uh, concerned about how fast we've been. Are we getting close? Oh, there's the outside. So was that Adam speaking? So maybe that was just a, just one illusion then from Ravenbeak. Somehow it made her Metroid genes asleep again. I almost feel like the next game needs to just bring it back to zero. Like, somehow extract the Metroid DNA and just have Metroids everywhere. Metroids have to come back. I did miss not having any Metroids in this game. Ah, oh, such a great game. Well, thanks for playing Metroid Dread Hard Mode with me. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you had some fun too. Looks like we got some art from completing it on Hard Mode. Dread Mode? What is that? The ultimate challenge where any hit... <gasps> no! What? In a game over for one hit for anything? <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Uh, wow. 